So I had the coated paper, the <coughs> object, then I sprayed it with a bunch of water, sprayed it with some soda ash solution and water, put the plexiglass on top, hi, hi. Went in. Walked on it, smashed it a little bit, squished the juices out of the plant. So I'm getting some of these marks from the actual um, uh, chemistry in the plant. So there. <laughs> and there. And if you look closely at these, you'll see some little uh, images of the leaves. Um, so that was really exciting. Um, so there, there's... The, the cyanotype chemistry, there's the eco print of the actual plant, there's the additional chemicals of the soda ash, and um, you can also use baking soda, I think, and vinegar works too, um, to get some different <coughs> colors. Uh, so there's extra time, let's see, extra time, extra moisture, heat, these were done this summer, and it, it became so hot under the plexiglass that the plexiglass actually totally warped. I mean, I've got it over there. I don't know. It's, I bought these huge sheets of plexiglass, and now I don't know if I can use them, so I may have to switch to glass. But that's an aside. But then they still looked kind of foggy. Like Paul, my wingman, wherever he went, said, I like them, but they're kind of blurry, you know? And I would I agreed. Like, there was no focal point. There was no uh, spot to really, like, keep your interest. So then I decided to start drawing and painting back into them and approaching them more as paintings instead of photographic prints. So these most recent ones I'm really thinking of as paintings. So um, can I switch sides now? <laughs> okay, because I'm so right I'll handed. follow you. Okay, all right, so this one, uh, this is a good area to look at here. These four leaves that are clustered together, when the print was first rinsed, they were all the same value. They were all, you couldn't tell them apart. There was one kind of blob going on there. So I painted in with watercolor here, painted in with watercolor there, added a little white gouache there, uh, did a little drawing on them. But I was trying to keep with the same colors. Like most of these have no watercolor on them. Um, see how these two are kind of running together? Or these two? It was like that, where they there was no layering available. So added some watercolor and some opaque watercolor. Here's white gouache along that edge to call it out, that edge too, to kind of get them to uh, stack a little bit. Um, I added colored pencil in here, colored pencil up here. All this whole corner I wanted to recede, so I painted that and threw some salt on it to blotch it up a little bit. Um, what else did I do on here? Then I went back in and painted with the soda ash to bleach more spots to make them brighter. So these brightest yellow splotches here, mm. it was still, it was, it was blotchy to start with, but the brightest yellow was not there. That I splattered on and painted on to kind of keep some brilliance going and get again more um, excitement in certain areas. Let's see, I added colored pencil and watercolor in these berries, in these smushed berries. Um, yellow around the edges and a little bit of pink and purple in there. It's basically the color the print was, but I added a little bit. Um, what else did I do to this one? Uh, I think that's about it. Anyway, so I painted on it and manipulated it to where it was a pleasing painting to me instead of just a print. Does that make sense? Questions so far? No, we're good. Okay. Um, anyway, so what else did I want to tell you guys about that? Um, yeah, I think the eco print aspect of it too, getting the actual marks from the plants, is it's completely unpredictable, but it's pretty fascinating. Um, and you know, it adds a real organic um, element to it, which I like. Um, let's see, so I have a question about yeah. the berries. Mm -hmm. Because they're more 3D, and that, did you have to squish them, or did you just let them stay raised up? And then no, when spread? they walked on the glass, they oh, pretty much squashed them. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, and that's what caused them to bleed out and everything. Um, the other thing that happened a lot, not so much with this print, or with this one, you can see it a little, but with this one, the leaves shrank. It was out there for a full day, and it was really, really hot. 
So this edge right here mm -hmm. and this dark edge here, that's the size of the leaf to start with. And then it shrank and shrank and shrank. So as it shrank, this part became exposed. This part was still unexposed. So yeah, that was also not predicted. Um, I had no idea that was gonna happen. So these dark halos around things are where things shrank. Um, this one has a lot of watercolor down here to pull that leaf out. Um, let's see, this one again, I um, strategically bleached to get, this was here, this was in the original print and some of this, but I added in more bleach to kind of bring the yellow across the piece. So it doesn't look like I painted on them, but I did. I did a lot of uh, fooling around with them.